Sean, here we are on the cusp of yet another uh, championship, only a few weeks away. Mm -hmm. There's always a special buzz when it comes to the championship. I know we're, you know the leagues were very good and they were very exciting leagues, mm -hmm. but the championship's very special. It is, it, and of course it's the it's the primary competition of the year, and everybody is looking towards that. They're looking towards the Ulster Championship first of all, and then they're looking towards the Ireland Championship. Uh, Sam McGuire Cup, uh, as anyone who's any associations with Irish sport knows, it is the greatest trophy in Irish sport, bar none. So you start off at the beginning in your province and you move on from there. It's a, it's a long, hard road, but it's a very exciting one. You made that journey yourself uh, as a, one of the all-time greats in the game to be an All-Ireland winner. When you take a look at Down this year, have they got mm. the capabilities to go uh, far in this year's championship? Well, their their performance over the last couple of years has been up and down. I mean, we could and should really have won uh, an Ireland two years ago. We were beaten by a point by Cork uh, in a game which uh, was there for the taking, but we, we, we just failed to come. At the, at the very last, Cork got, the, got an advantage on us. And that was the first time in six All-Ireland finals, that was the first time we had ever been beaten. And but to be beaten only by a point was hard. But James McCartan being the man he is, uh, James will not rest until he has rectified that. And uh, he certainly has been working very, very hard at that. Uh, the team, uh, are, they're a better side, I think, than the league uh, position shows. They have, they've had a number of very, very close calls. Uh, Cork, uh, we had Cork beaten in, in Newry. We're leading by two points in the third minute of, ex of extra time and a, and a catastrophic mistake by one of our players who surrendered the ball in the middle of the field when he should not have done so. Ended up in the back of our net with two kicks. Quite an incredible goal. So that really was a very serious blow. We, we would not have been relegated uh, mm -hmm. if we had won that I match. could have beaten Tyrone as well, I feel as well. Yeah, well, we were well in the game with Tyrone. We were well in the game with Tyrone. Also, were well in the game. In most of the other games, we were not beaten by a lot. Dublin, Dublin probably got the drop on us, and yet we were with them for for, for nearly fifty minutes of that game. Quite incredibly. Well, now you're away to Derry, and that evokes mm -hmm. memories of the great game way way back in the nineties. You know, but uh, yes. Derry did well. You mm -hmm. know, uh, in the league, I watched them several times. Free flowing, got a lot of scores from mm -hmm. other positions. Derry against Down in Celtic Park. That won't be easy. It certainly will not. Uh, I think that Derry have been showing very well this year. There are always good footballers in Derry. It's a question of getting them together. And I think the, the manager, Brian, uh, McIver. Uh, Brian McIver, I think Brian has done a tremendous job. Brian is a very good, uh, very good man motivator. Uh, he, is, he develops a great relationship with his players and he gets the best out of them. And I think you're seeing that this year that he has, he has got this Derry team playing. And I think they're a very, very tough obstacle indeed. And I think that James McCartan will not underestimate them for one moment. Now, if you were asked uh, to put a, a bad favour on the on the outcome of that game, Derry down, who you know, to try and try and remove your downhead and try and give it a bit of a neutral a neutral stance on it. <laughs> That's not possible either. <laughs> well, I know that. I know, but like, do your best. Like. My money will be on down, of course. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a very it's a very close call. It's a very close call. But the home advantage probably would throw it uh, shade. Uh, Derry will start probably, I think, as as short favourites, but okay. not much. Now, the other big game in Ulster, Donegal, Tyrone. Tyrone going well, win the National League mm -hmm. final. They beat Donegal in Oma, but it was a mm -hmm. bit of a strange game, that one. You know, I wouldn't put too much into that game. But I think it's going to be a cracking game, Donegal against uh, against Tyrone. Well, I think Tyrone are the form team. Tyrone have, have, are coming good. They're coming good until the, they're in the National League final, deservedly so. Stumbled a wee bit in the quarter final, but came through all right in the second half. Uh, I think they're they're the team to beat in Ulster. Donegal and Jim McGuinness may say that they don't care about the league. Well, I find that very I find that very strange, both as a player and as a manager. Uh, I don't think any team should should consider losing of no consequence. Losing is always of consequence, and I think that uh, I certainly in, in, in days gone by when I was playing with Down, we went for every game. We played the league. We went to win. We didn't. We we weren't tailoring ourselves for the championship. Mm -hmm. When you enter a competition, we went to win. It's, it's, it's quite, uh, quite, a, it's quite a, a significant factor that Cody of Kilkenny puts Kilkenny teams on the field to win every time they go out. There is no 
second place for Kilkenny at any time that they take the field. And I think that's the correct the correct attitude for any county. Sean, it, it's probably an interesting notion, cliche and stuff like that. But for him, you, you know, you just can't turn it on like a tap. And I know that Jim has been focusing, and even in all the league matches, all he talked about to the team was about Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone. So he put all his eggs into one basket in Bally Buffet. But for him, you just can't turn it on if you're playing a team that maybe has gone a different route in preparation yeah. uh, for a game that's, like this. That's the whole point, Adrian. That is exactly the, the point. You make the point very well. Uh, if you feel or if you think that you can perform below below par in the league and then suddenly switch on the championship, that's a very dangerous. It's a very dangerous uh, mindset. Uh, I think that uh, you certainly bring in young players, but you must still be going flat out to win. And I'm sure that Donegal, when they're on the field, do go flat out to win. But it's 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 a it's a difficult thing if players know that the management are saying it doesn't really matter whether whether we win the league or whether we're relegated or not. I think that's not a good mindset for a panel, because panels like to win, players like to win, mm-hmm. and they like to, to feel that they are, are there or thereabouts. And Donegal's performance in the league, really, they have had a, they have, I mean, the last game, a very controversial defeat. Uh, they're very sore about that. So that there's very little between the teams in Division One, Adrian. There's very, mm-hmm. very little between them. And Donegal certainly, I, I understand uh, Jim McGinnis saying that the, the, their position in the league will not adversely affect their attitude and their performance in, in the championship. They will be as confident. They're all Ireland champions. Mm-hmm. Who are they to fear? Who are they afraid of? So they're not afraid of anyone. And uh, I think they will be a formidable obstacle for Tyrone in Bally Buffet. If they had got them out of Bally Buffet, which uh, Mickey Hart tried to do, <laughs> in mm-hmm. fairness to him, yes. and he, he fought, a, he fought a, a long <laughs> three month battle about it. But I think that the fact that it's in Bally Buffet is a big plus for Donegal also. Interesting that the bookies have uh, Donegal at uh, eleven to eight and thrown eleven to four, and I suppose that's because of the draw. I suppose you would you would probably suggest mm-hmm. that the winners of that game could possibly go on and win the Ulster title. Well, there's no doubt about that. I think that the team that the team that beats Tyrone, I think at the minute, uh, from where we are now, the team that beats Tyrone will win the Ulster championship. I think uh, if Donegal win that game, I think they'd be very difficult to beat an Ulster. Mm-hmm. That's not to say they can't be, and I think that. Uh, there are a number of Derry, for example, will be saying we'll, we we're not afraid of anybody here. Monaghan are on the move. Armagh will feel that they 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 can do better. They they had a poor run in the league, but Armagh are not as poor a team as what against mean. Galway. A fantastic match, twenty one points. You know they scored. They, they right. were very super, They were superb that day. Yeah, Armagh have can can they, they're blowing hot and cold at the minute. I think that the management will want to try and get a bit of consistency there. But but they've got the players. They've got the players, and they've got the ambition too.